Hello and welcome to VLOOKUP Hacks, hack number six, different data types. My name's Jeff and I'm glad that you're here. Let's just jump right in. Let's say we're going to enter a value into a cell. We're going to enter the account number 4,000. Okay. Excel has right aligned that and that's an indicator to us that Excel is storing this as a number. But as you know, Excel can store different kinds of data. There are different data types, right? Like we can type in numbers, text strings, Boolean values, like dates, all kinds of things. So this is a number. But when we imported the chart of accounts, we notice that the account num column is left aligned. And that's the default alignment for text strings. Okay, so these values are stored as text strings. This one here is stored as a number. Let's see if this makes a difference to VLOOKUP. We want to go find this in table one, return the account name in the second column, and false for exact match, and enter, and da, an error. What's going on? Like, did I mess up my formula arguments? Like, is Excel broken? What, what's going on? Here's what's going on. The VLOOKUP function doesn't match equivalent values when they're stored as different data types, right? So this is an equivalent value, 4,000 and 4,000. Here it's stored as a number. Here it's stored as a text string. VLOOKUP doesn't match those. So what are we supposed to do? Like, just do it manually? <laughs> no. No. No, this brings us to hack number six. Use the text function in the first argument. Use the text function as the first argument. In other words, instead of having Excel look up the value in B7, the number, we want it to convert that number into a text string, okay? And then use the result from the text string as the lookup value. Now here's the thing about the text function. It has two arguments. The first argument is the value we're trying to convert into a text string, and then a comma, and then what's known as the format text or format code. And, um, and there are many different options here. You can look this up uh, in Excel's help system. But for now, we aren't going to return this directly to a cell. So we don't really care about the format code. So we're just going to use zero. Okay. Um, so Excel is going to first convert B7 from a number into a text string and then look that up. Is this going to work? I have no idea. Let's find out. Enter. Yes. Of course it works. And 5,000, cost of goods sold looks good. 5020 wages, that looks good. 5021 salary, that looks good. Okay? So the text function converts a number into a text string, and it's using that to do its lookup. And what if we needed to do like the opposite? Well, there's a reciprocal function called value that does the opposite. It converts a text string that represents a number into an actual number. So equals V lookup. Go find this in table two, return the value second column, false for exact match. Enter. We're going to get an error. Why? Because this is stored as a text string. This is stored as a number. So if we want to convert this text string into a number, we're going to use the value function. So we just use value function as the first argument and enter. That looks better. And we can just fill it down and yes, we got it. Okay. And what about if we wanted to set up a situation where like, you know, we want to uh, look up text values or numbers and it's all like just a confusing mess. Like here it's all consistent. Like all of these are text strings and all of these are numbers. But what if like it's all just crazy, right? Can we handle this? Yeah, totally. In a previous VLOOKUP hacks blog post, we talked about the if error function. And so we're just going to use it again here. We're just going to revisit that. And here's the basic idea equals if error. We're going to say that if we try to do a VLOOKUP and convert B7 into a value and find that in table three, return value second column, false for exact match. Okay. If that is an error, no, if that's good, then return it. But if that's an error, let's try to do the VLOOKUP with the text function. So we just write another VLOOKUP function. This time we use the text function to convert B7 into a text string, look that up in table three, return the value second column, false for exact match, close the VLOOKUP, close the IF error. Before I hit enter, let's just review this crazy thing. I'm asking the IF error function to try to do this VLOOKUP. If it returns a good value, like if it's not an error, 
then it'll be returned. And here we're asking it to first try to, to look for the number. If it returns an error, then instead it's going to do this. It's going to convert it into a text string and then return that result. So we hit enter and we fill this down and there it works for like number to text. This one is, or, or this one is text to number. This one is number to text. This one is uh, text to what text and this one is like number to number. So it works for all the four different kinds of combinations. So anyway, hey, uh, hope this helps you get more use out of this amazing VLOOKUP function. Thanks. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.